welcome back to another property tour. Today you join Tom and I in Ditsum, Dartmouth on the south coast. So we'll pop a little map up on the screen so you guys can see whereabouts that is. We're going to be taking you inside this 2.5 million pound grade two listed manor house and it's on the market with the coastal house. Now it's six bed, four bath and just over 5,000 square feet and it's also sat on a two acre plot. So we've got tons of space, we've got the most amazing garden, so stay tuned for that. But for now, I'm gonna take you to have a little look around the front of the property. So we're on a tarmac drive and it comes through these electronic gates at the front. It's quite a long driveway and it eventually comes onto this graveled area here where we have a little courtyard. We also have the old barn that's been converted into a garage as you can see so we've got the bifold oak doors there adding to the characteristic effect of this house there's a lot of oak throughout here don't you think yeah that's really nice and you can see that driveway behind jazz now where yeah. we come off the road yeah and you've also got all that lawn space out front there and on the other side the main garden areas up there so yes Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We will There's show you. loads of different little paths we can show you. Yeah, definitely. It's a great explorer's house, I'd say. So on this gravel driveway, we can see that there's another courtyard through there, which is accessible through one of the rooms inside. So you'll see that as well. Yeah. But yeah, look how gorgeous the front of the house is. It so looks we've got so nice. the grey slate tiles one half and then the original stone on the other. Like I said, it is a grey two listed building. So a lot of the characteristics and the, you know, just materials you see inside are all the original ones. There's a really cool archway in there which dates back a long time ago. <laughs> yes, well, Jazz mentioned explorers. This home was actually, it was the house of one of Queen Elizabeth I's favorite explorers. He yeah. actually uh, brought the potato to England. So, Imagine fun that. fact for you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see more of that when we go inside. Definitely. It's very lovely and landscaped, this garden. Yeah, all got, the flowers are so nice. Yeah, we've got the stone walls as well. Oh, are you ready to head inside? Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go. First, coming on into the entrance hall, we have the heavy oak door behind me. This gorgeous flagstone flooring with the nice red rug on top. But the first room I'm gonna take you into is the snug. Now it's a slightly larger than average snug, I'd say. Got the nice yellow paint on the walls, loads of seating with the TV. We also have a log burner in the original fireplace. And we've got the mullioned windows over there, which lets so much light in. We've even got a little seat there too. That's a really funky chandelier as well, I might add. Yeah, absolutely, with the, the antlers. antlers. Yeah. yeah, back on out. Yeah. This is the coolest room, isn't it, Tom? Yes, so this is called the Great Hall. Look how much space there is. So we, first of all, we'll start here. We've got this lounge area with that huge original fireplace with the oak beam going across it. Imagine Christmas in here. That's yes. what I can think. With a huge Christmas tree, it would be so amazing. We've got the two windows, also millioned windows. Yeah. With the window seats, can imagine reading a little book. Yeah, it's a good spot. And because it is such a huge space, you've got to have a piano. A grand piano, yeah. Yeah, definitely. It just makes it, doesn't it? Yeah, the and we've got these two gilded chandeliers too. And actually inside some of those are... They're like the flickering. The bulbs like flickering flames. <laughs> yeah, to make it look like a candle. Yeah. Now we have two doorways. I'm going to take you through to this one. Yeah, two archways as well, actually. Oh yeah, they are, aren't they? really like this room so we have the dining room here with the huge table we also have access just here table in front of it at the moment straight out to the courtyard so you can just head on out there for some after dinner drinks you know we've got three timber framed windows in here too with very deep shelves that mirror is pretty crazy I right know, we've got a little bar set up here very regal looking yes mirror. with all the gods you can actually see that archway the stone yeah from the original yeah, yeah the original arch Bit of a motif that, isn't it, the archways? Yes, definitely. You're going to see a Tons lot of, of it, especially and with fireplaces yes. too. And this one is very special, dating all the way back to when this guy was connected to the property. Yeah, so nice. we have this awesome stone archway stepping on up. I'm going to take you into the kitchen. So here we have, it's slightly more contemporary in here, I feel. We've got the marble topped counters as well as this kitchen island. Now it's a very unique shape. We also have the glass breakfast bar above it. Once again, very contemporary. And all of the cabinets in here are bespoke. 
So it just utilizes the space really, really well. Especially on that corner where you I, are now. Yeah, exactly. We've got like the chopping board on the corner with the shelves underneath, which just, yeah, so much space. Here we have the American style fridge freezer. We have such great appliances in here. We have the Gargonel. We have a two ovens, one with a steamer. We have the coffee machine and microwave. And then over here, this is really cool. We have the electric Arga in the original stone fireplace. Yeah, I think there's actually a dish warmer as well underneath the coffee machine. Oh yeah, that's which good. Is, you know, why not? Right, so this room now is the most contemporary addition to the house. This is called the garden room and it switches up. We've got the more clean cut kind of Mediterranean style stone tiles. And then we've got these awesome like curved bifold doors that go all the way around. So you can really open this space up it you feel like you're in a garden. Yeah. We've got the circular table, which you know hangs on to the shape of this room. And it's even got a turntable. A turntable in the nice. middle. And a wind chime chandelier. Yes. Oh, that's a bit ASMR. I know. <laughs> but yeah, great room. We've got all the exposed stone in there. And then coming out into this courtyard. Now, as you can see, it's a gorgeous day. So this is the type of day you would be sat here enjoying a drink. It's a lovely little courtyard. Got yeah, an olive got, tree over there as yeah. well. And a, and a little otter under the olive tree, <laughs> in case you haven't spotted that. We also have a moat that goes kind of around this garden space. You've got access to the lawn via those stairs. And also you can get to the front of the property around that little side access there. Yeah, nice. And then where Tom is, on the left, you can access kind of the bigger area of the garden, which we're going to show you shortly. So stay tuned for that. Before we go inside, just wanted to point out that door up there. Oh, you yeah. see it when we go upstairs. If anyone knows why that door is like that, Leave yeah. it in the comments. What was here beforehand, I wonder? Yeah. Or if, was there anything? Yeah. Right, we're gonna take you through, back through. And we're gonna check out the self-contained flat. So coming through this door, we have another kitchen. I'm liking the green tones in here. Yeah, it's kind of like a utility space in here too. There isn't all of the cooking appliances and stuff, but we've yeah. got like, the sink. Yeah, we've got the butler's sink, which is hidden on the, like kind of in the oak countertops. Yeah. Best thing about this room. Yes, this has the most insane toilet. So Let we've got just... a Victorian style WC in there. How cool is that? Yeah. It's no, like, like a little that. throne. That is cool as well, very marble, but yeah, yeah. that toilet seat is mega. <laughs> Literally a throne. Yes. So all of these cabinets are bespoke as well. We've got access to the courtyard there, but coming on up Just here. ventilating the house because it's about 35 degrees yeah, today, literally. guys, just so you know. <laughs> so here we have the ensuite to this self-contained flat. We've got the marble um, tiles in there. They look yes. really seamless and shiny. Glossy, it goes all the way up to the window as well. It's yeah. a really high sky well. It's got like a nice light well in there. Yeah, definitely. And then oh, we've yeah, got the shower. toilet and sink behind there too. So that, this room kind of completes this wing of the house yes. because this is like the self-contained annex. And the fact that it has the ensuite there means that you could really be self-contained and live Definitely. there without needing the rest of the property. Yeah, because you have your own access point like as a front door from the courtyard too. Now we have this space, we've got the lounge space, TV, everything you need really with the original fireplace as well. And upstairs on the mezzanine level, we have the bedroom, it's got the painted wooden beams. It's very perfect teenage room, I think, or like a guest house. Yeah, absolutely. Right, now Tom's gonna take you upstairs and show you the bedroom, so we'll meet you up there. So joining the kitchen, Right next door, there is this incredible original staircase from the property. It looks amazing with all the exposed stone all the way down it, very traditional. And then we have the original wood staircase leading up to the walk-in loft, which is used for storage at the moment. Now we head into the master bedroom. Now this is one of the most characteristic bedrooms I've ever seen in any of the tours we've been on. We've got about a dozen exposed beams all the way through this property. We've got an open top canopy bed, and we've yeah. also got this insane chandelier fitting here. It looks like it's just absolutely decked with crystals. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It looks so good. We've also got the exposed fireplace at that end, some great artwork, yeah. and some cool mirrors too. I really like the artwork in here. It makes it feel very yes. regal, and, you know? I love this little bench seat here, this uh, window seat. It's incredible. 
I love, while I'm here, it's a great example of the characteristic style of this property. Not many of the walls are perfectly straight or flat. Yeah. They're all really, like, well, they're just the original walls, aren't they? And I think it, it just adds personality to it. Definitely. And then through here, we have the oak flooring in here. We have a roll-topped copper, like rose gold colored bath. Yeah, that's special. Really fits in with the, the age of the property very much suits the bathroom, but it's Definitely. also that mix of contemporary again with this flooring. So yeah. it looks nice and modern, but we also have some old touches. Some very deep shelving underneath the windows yeah. for decorating with whatever ornaments you, f you see fit. Mm -hmm. And then we are now gonna head out of this room and show you guys the dressing room. Mm -hmm. So right next door, we have this walk-in wardrobe slash dressing room space where we've got tons of reeded doors, We've also got this very impressive light fitting above. Looks yeah. like a custom piece. I've never seen anything like that. So yeah, it looks great. Again, with the seat under the window and an ensuite in here. So there's two ensuites for the principal suite, essentially. Yeah. So we've got a shower in here, toilet and sink. This uh, sink basin actually was made out of a Spanish chest. Oh, wow. And inside it's set with this granite surround, but it looks great. Wow. It's almost like looking into a tree. Yeah. Right, so now we're gonna step away from this sort of principal suite of the house, and we're gonna go down through this, this wing, if you like, which actually houses all the rest of the bedrooms in this property. So looking down this corridor, we can see all the way to the end. Very characteristic again, like I say, the walls are sort of starting to yeah. be a bit sloped now, and the floor's a bit on, on edge. But we're gonna come in here. This is, one of the bedrooms being used as a study space, but ample room for a double bed if you wanted it. Here we've got the seat underneath the window, again, as well as the exposed beams, but this is a very nautical style office, I'd say. Yes, Which definitely. makes sense. We're very close to the, uh, the Royal Naval College in Dartmouth, yeah. just down the road. Backing down through the corridor then, Jazz, we head into the next bedroom. Now we've got a good size double bed in here again, plenty of room for it, the exposed beams, but in this room we have an absolutely huge stone exposed oh fireplace. Gosh, yeah. It's absolutely massive, literally as taller than Jazz, I'm looking now. Oh gosh. <laughs> and we've got a window seat again, looking out over the front of the property. So much grounds as well, so can't wait to show you guys that after this. Two whole acres, guys. Yes. Okay, so then we step down through here. We have an ensuite through here. Might as well show you that now while we're coming past. Yeah, family bathroom. Yeah, like a fam yeah, sorry, not an ensuite. We have a family bathroom in here. Good sized bath, toilet here, sink, and another window out, which is almost a bench seat. It's just such deep shelving. Yeah, I like how it steps up in this bathroom yeah. as well. It's really Slightly more modern in here, this yeah. bathroom. A bit more contemporary compared to some of the others, which is good for a family bathroom. It's got everything you need. Jazz has just fallen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You didn't see that step, did yeah, you? I'm good. You're making a habit of this in these videos. <laughs> this is the door we said about. God. <laughs> Bless you. I'm okay. Okay, guys. so now coming in this bedroom then. One of the bigger bedrooms, one of my favourites. Yeah. Exactly like well. matches the snug downstairs. Oh yeah. It's got the same colours and the exposed beams above this seat in front of the window this bedroom as well we have this absolutely huge exposed stone fireplace again this one's even taller it's probably about as tall as me this one. Oh, just about yeah yeah so yeah got a 62 fireplace pretty much <laughs> okay so we're not finished inside the property we're gonna head out and check out the grounds but before we do that we're gonna head to the annex so we'll see you guys in there so we came up the steps out the front and now we're inside this sort of self-contained annex area so in this yeah. initial entrance spot we have some very unique colors which actually match the mirror very well if we come into this little entrance hall we have this really light wood theme again very contemporary um, and this is like the bedroom part of this annex it's very well equipped in here we've got basically everything you need double size bed desk here underneath the window so you can look out over the grounds in the garden, yeah. which looks great. We've got the Velux windows bringing in lots of natural light, Definitely. as well as all the exposed beams, giving all that old characteristic feeling to the property. We have a seating area here in front of a TV, so you can sit, watch a movie or something yeah. before you crash. And then we have this, uh, yeah, Contura wood stove. Yeah. And you can actually see the G 
chimney out the top of the building. It's very oh, industrial, nice. keeping it nice and hot, but we will not be needing that today. No. Because it is bacon. And then this is like a dual aspect almost. You can go right or left. Yeah. The left side of this annex is like the bathroom suite almost. So we have this freestanding roll top bath here. It actually has a bottle of champagne as well. Lovely, lovely so stuff. So you can sit in the bath and enjoy that. <laughs> a bubbly, bubbly bath. I think it's great to have a freestanding roll top bath like this in the property because it kind yeah. of brings that old school feel back. And then we have an ensuite in here, which has a shower, more Bellex windows, a sink and a toilet. So yeah, super well equipped. But now we're gonna head outside and show you the rest of the garden. Let's go. We are back outside then to this courtyard area, which actually is accessible from both the dining room and this annex behind me. We've got tons of seating in here. Like I said, comes out from the dining room, so I can imagine this being a great place to come after you've had a meal. Yeah. Come out, sit and have some drinks around the fire pit, Definitely. it'd be nice. And we've got even more courtyard space here. Personally, I think I'd probably have a dining table there so you yes. can actually eat outside. Yes, yeah, got a pizza oven next to it as well, so it's quite... Big pizza stone, yeah. Oh, yeah. That would get some good use if I lived here. <laughs> and then, yeah, this is the annex wing here. So we've got all the stone traditional buildings that match the shed and some log store here as well. But Jazz, if you follow me, we actually have some very characteristic steps in the side of the stone. So we're gonna head up for there. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's a bit of a balance. Jazz is gonna do really well now with the camera. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> so many different routes and paths around this property, loads of different access points, great for exploring, loads of little walks around. So th this is actually accessible from that garden that we showed you earlier on, that oh, comes yeah, off the kitchen. kitchen. But now we'll head towards the rest of the garden. So we've got ponds, so a little bit of wood space, like a little forest, loads of landscaped gardens. And this bit here is very nicely tiered. And Jasmine's about to walk into a weird plant. Oh, <laughs> it's all good. That's pretty crazy, that one, isn't it? Yeah, look, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we have all the original features of this garden. Loads of stone, nice walkways, and some like ponds and stuff. Looks great. I think it's very like ornamental. Yes, yeah, definitely. It's really just uses the uh, shape of the land very um, yeah. well because it sort of steps down a bunch of times down and we're now actually above the property and you can really look down speaking of which we have this decking area here banisters are all wooden as well and from here you can see over the property right to the sea down past dartmouth college yeah so it's amazing it looks great absolutely incredible views from up here i know this would be one of my favorite spots to come for lunch definitely maybe not in this heat <laughs> well no yeah now i'd rather be inside in the cool stone house yeah, that's one really good thing about the materials used inside is that it does keep it very cool very in the cool, summer. right? So now we're coming to this pond, but just wanted to show you guys some of the plants that they have in it because it's not your, not your average pond. It looks no. like it's been injected with steroids or something. These it does. Leaves are absolutely huge. See the, the buzzard up there? Oh yeah. <laughs> Bit of English wildlife for you. Loads of wildlife in this garden. You could probably come down to this pond, sit nice and quietly and spot loads of birds. Yeah. A great feature here is this bridge that we're coming up to, which leads you nicely across the pond. And then to my left, your right, we have all of this, like these woods here, and there's actually a little walkway through that, which is cool. But yeah, we're gonna head across this now. Just looking across, you can literally see all the houses in Dartmouth. It's an incredible view. It is. All the way out to sea. It's a little bit hazy today, but you can still see it. And yeah, what a spot. It's like being in a natural trust home or something. Yeah, definitely. And we've got this willow tree that Jazz is going through nicely. <laughs> hey guys, hey guys. <laughs> and then we have more lawn space up here with a couple of sheds, maybe some tools, bikes, anything like that. And then we have an access point out so you can walk onto that main road. Yeah, definitely. Well, I say main road, it's very much a back road. You're really nice and secluded down here. And then, yeah, like I said, we're stepped up on top of the property. So now you can see down over it and it just looks so characteristic, right? With all the slate, all the stone. Yeah, that's a great bench there. <laughs> Should have a little sit and just gaze at the property. Oh, yeah, it's a good spot this, isn't it? Okay, so not done in the garden yet. We've got more to show you. So head down here through this gate. You could even use some of this field as parking, hence the road. But come back down to the drive now where we started, if we head through here, we have another garden area, loads of landscaping, oh, yeah. and a nice gravel path that comes all the way to yet another seating area. 
didn't even know this was here. So I found this earlier when I was exploring. Oh, wow. Getting some shots. Then we have this, yeah, sort of path through the trees. And it nicely steps down here to the lawn space, which we actually saw at the start of the video, right next to that drive. And I like this little, how they've used the boat as a planter. You might oh, have yeah. seen that in the start of the video, but I think that's a, a great idea. And then, yeah, we're back at the front of the property now, which just looks incredible, right? It is insane. All the slate, all the stone, super characteristic property. And you can really tell that we're in, in Dartmouth now. I hope you've enjoyed the tour around this property, but we're not finished yet. We're gonna head on down into Dartmouth and check out the local area. So we'll see you guys down there. So you join us down in Dartmouth now. We've come all the way down to the riverfront and you can see it behind me. It's one of the most picturesque spots in the whole of Devon with all the really colorful houses all around. Always boats in the river. And we've also got a chain ferry too as well as having lots of green space, parks, that type of thing, has loads of shops too. And so yeah, it's a great, great spot to have super close to your home. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.